viewers, my name is Maia. If you didn't know yet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite cheesecake brownies. And they taste so good. Let's go! First, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then, for the brownie mixture, you're going to need 3 fourths cup of unsalted butter, half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, half a cup of cocoa powder, a cup of sugar, half a cup of dark brown sugar, two large eggs and an egg yolk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one half teaspoon of salt, and finally, a cup of all-purpose flour. The first thing you want to do is melt together your butter and your semi-sweet chocolate chips. Make sure you keep mixing until all the butter and the chocolate chips are combined. Next, you're going to add the cocoa powder and mix that as well. And then, add your white and brown sugar and mix. And then you're going to add your eggs, one egg at a time and then finally the egg yolk so that all the eggs are fully incorporated. And then you're going to add your vanilla and your salt and combine those together. And then you're going to add your one cup of flour and then once again, mix until there are no more clumps and it turns into a smooth batter. For the cheesecake, you're going to need 8 ounces of softened cream cheese, a fourth a cup of sugar, one large egg, and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're going to mix together the cream cheese and the sugars together until they are fully combined and smooth. Add your vanilla and then your egg. And then mix again until smooth. Here I'm using a 7 by 11 inch pan and lining it with parchment paper so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the brownies. And then, I'm going to layer the brownie mixture at the bottom as the first layer of the brownies. Make sure to leave just a bit of brownie batter left for the top layer. Here, I'm just smoothening it out. And then, I'm going to add in the cheesecake layer using all of it and then smoothening it out again. Here, I'm adding the leftover brownie mix that we saved from earlier. And just putting it on top and it could be messy because now we're gonna swirl it with a knife and it's gonna become more beautiful you don't have to make this look so nice don't worry because after it comes out of the oven it's going to look nice and taste amazing I put my brownies in for around 25 to 30 minutes in my oven and once you're done tada you have these beautiful brownies Let them cool for a few hours and then slice them into how big you want them. And that's all there is to it. It's super simple and it doesn't take you that long either. I hope you make these brownies and recreate it in your own home and make them for your family because I assure you, they're gonna love it. Bye! See you next time!